Fundamentally, layout allows the placement of virtual items into your 3D space. As the user looks around the room, we can see that the application recognizes the floor, walls, and ceiling. We have chosen to leave the grid visible for this demonstration. Microsoft provides a number of 3D models by default. Additional and custom models can be purchased or created. The ability to import models and export layouts is an integral part of this product. Here, we're going to select one of our custom models and place it into the space. As we see, the model initially appears small with an outline representing the actual volume of the object. Once placed, the model will grow to its actual size. The model can be manipulated with ease. Rotations can either be freeform or to a preset value. Movement of the model can either be performed by dragging or finer adjustments with the nudging tool. Now that we've placed the object, we're going to measure our available space with relation to real-world objects. You measurement to begin, and the cursor will follow your gaze. Tap again to end your measurement. As you can see, measurement resolution is accurate measurement. to within half an inch. To remove a measurement, select its dimensions, then select delete. Here, we'll place another object into our space. With layout, we can quickly manipulate the placement of an object, which would normally require a forklift or a crane to move. Additionally, we can do things like duplicate objects into the space. Now that our layout is complete, it can be shared in real time or saved for access with this or other programs.